Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about camera raw filter changes in Photoshop 2022. Sadly, each time I see the Photoshop updating and changes UI, so it is nothing so important but to simply fix that. If I go to filter menu and camera raw filter or press shift ctrl A or shift command A on Mac, as you see, the right panel here is changed a bit and you cannot find maybe the brushes like the old time. Although for my Udemy students, I'm preparing a second update and I will explain them. Yet, because some students have difficulty, so I made this video. In the right panel, if you see the third icon, which is this masking, and it has a small arrow you could right click or hold on the left mouse button to open now we have all the settings here instead of outside for example selecting subject sky uh, of course brush linear gradient radial gradient or so so simply click on brush yes sadly the ui changed again but it's not so scary don't worry by default it is new brush you see after clicking you simply you could drag it and make it make sure your show overlay is enabled allow me to set the overlay color here and opacity maybe something like that okay and now you could again here add a new mask or add a new brush for example here Allow me to change the overlay again, maybe something like that to be more visible. And the bottom side you could find flow, size, feather, density. And let me draw here, you see. And of course, simply instead of destructive method to remove in the previous versions, now you have advantage to add here non-destructively. For example, I could select the second brush here and click and delete it or simply press delete or backspace i could invert it you see allow me to undo that and you could add one new layer as a subtraction for example add subtract and brush i could remove here you see and you could disable it it is awesome i know the changes it's a bit confusing but it is very actually powerful let me add another subtract maybe this time yeah linear gradient from bottom to top and you see even you could control it it is powerful you could rotate it and change the transition side you see now i could disable overlay display and start adjusting we want to change the temperature maybe tint i will change the saturation to be more visible you see it's only applied there and you could even now fix them manually and manage them allow me to show overlay this is my brush here i could move it i could move this gradient change it and even if i disable it you will see the applying changes here let me increase exposure to be more visible. All right. Actually, I applied on that brush. I forgot to enable here. Okay, I could also remove. This one was the remove. Allow me to delete this one. And add, uh, sorry, add another linear gradient. Maybe here, you see. Simply applying and you could even adjust it. And finally, okay. Of course, don't forget to make your layer as a smart layer or a smart object to be non destructive and readjustable. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.